What's up? What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hi, babies. It's Miss Tashi. What's up? It's Mr. Ramsey. Virtual hugs. Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> Sashi, why are we like this? I don't know. Well, I'm not like you. I'm not lame. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Tomatoes. <laughs> hey, babies. We are so excited about we get, what we get ready to tell y'all. It's another week. Another week. And guess what? We okay. talked about ants last week. Uh, and, and, that, and that touched my mind. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It messed up my whole week. Okay, because we need to be like ants, honey, so that mm. we can be wise. But why are you shaking them coins like that? Let me tell you, let me tell you about the Bible story this week. Mm. It's called Golden Slumbers. The who? Golden Slumbers. Golden Slumbers. The parable of bags of gold. Mm. Matthew 25, 14 yes. through 30. Not only are we talking about that, we're talking about making the most of what you've been given. Mm, making the most of what you've been given. I like that. Rem memory verse. Remember from last week? Suppose you can be trusted with the little things. Hmm. Then you can be trusted with something very large. Luke 16 through 10. So if you're looking for that verse, go to the book of Luke, chapter 16, verse 10 and you can see the very thing that we're talking about. Right, that's your reference. Remember, we told you that the Bible is our what? Begins with a G. Come on. Say it. Say it. That's right, a guide. The Bible is our guide, and we need it. Yes. Okay? So what I'm holding is... Some C notes. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. It's two quarters. It's 50 cents. Well, can I hold one? Of course. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. It's two quarters. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, these are our coins. Showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. We need you to make wise choices. So I'm so excited to get into this word today. Now, you know what else? What else? I like them to jingle. There are a lot of ways to make 50 cents, hmm. but each way is worth the same amount. So no matter whatever you do to get the 50 cents, it's still worth the same amount. Hmm. We all have many different talents and gifts to share, but they are all valuable because God gave up them to us for a reason. The key isn't counting the number of talents. The key is whatever you've got, you've got. It's not about counting the number of talents or money or whatever you've got. It's using it in the right way. So whatever you have, you have to be able to understand that what are you using it for? Because right. sometimes you have something and you could be using it the wrong way, just like the broom, right? You can have a broom and your parents tell you to sweep the house, right? But all of a sudden you grab this broom and you're trying to hit your little brother or little sister with it. That'd be so fun. <laughs> I know, I know. I used to, ooh, it used to be so fun. We used to be playing baseball or whatever. You know what? We did a lot of that. Ba <laughs> oh, my goodness. We used to take the tennis ball and play yeah. baseball with the broomstick. Like, whoa! Please don't try these things at home. Yeah, please but don't. But we just have to be real with y'all yeah. because you guys are our babies. Yeah. And y'all know us. Yeah. And please pay attention to that on the screen. It says it right there. Don't try this thing at home. <laughs> don't try this thing at home. And it's in red. Yes. Don't try it at home. <laughs> so, that's right. So we may have all different types of talents. It's mm -hmm. not about the money. It's mm -hmm. not about how many talents. It's yes. about what you do with it. Mm -hmm. So just like Mr. Ramsey was saying with that broom, they ask you to sweep, but you sweep the, the, the trash backwards. Mm -hmm. That is not what you're supposed to be doing no. with that broom. Mm -mm. But you know what? We're all we've all been guilty of doing things the wrong way. But the 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 good thing is when you recognize it and you know it you fix it. Mm, that's good. So, if you sing to a baby, calm, to calm them, you're using what God gave you yes. just as much as if you given a million dollars to a church. Mm. You're still giving what God gave you. If you help a teammate learn a skill that you're good at, that's worth a, that's worth as much as it is to God as if, if you were winning a basket in the game. And, and it goes right back to how you manage the small things, right? Will show how you manage the big things. Right. God doesn't expect you to be an amazing athlete or an all-American idol singer. He expects you to use whatever you have to make the most of what you've been given. 
You get it? Hmm. So you don't have to be the best at everything, but you are the best at it if you're giving it to God and appreciative of it. And that's why you gotta be you. That's right. right. I think most I think most time you struggle or you're frustrated or you're mad because you're afraid of being you. God has called you to be you. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? <laughs> you shouldn't be afraid. It's you have to be you. It's right. not about being anybody else. It's all about you because remember what we talked about with the ants. They don't focus on anything else but themselves. So that's why they're not lazy people or they're not lazy critters or insects. They are people who are what? Working hard. And when you're working hard to be yourself, it's meant for a reason because God right. has put that in you. Especially if you're doing what God gave you. Yes. If you're appreciative of what he gave you. Yes. Like Mr. Ramsey can sing, he can act, mm -hmm. he can't dance. Hold He's on, an amazing. Wait. Hold on, I could. Did you see that? He needs to give up. So he can sing, wow. he can act, he can host. He's amazing at all of that. But it's not about counting everything he does. Mm. It's about him being grateful for what he has and using it for the right things. Because he could be singing bad songs. Mm. Right. 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 He's saying good songs, positive music. Positive music. Inspirational music, mm -hmm. Christian music, songs that will uplift you. And you know what, Ms. Nastasha? That's why I love what Jesus says in this parable mm -hmm. and this story. And the story that Jesus explains about a man who leaves a responsibility who leaves a responsibility right. to certain individuals mm -hmm. and let me read it to you it says here Jesus parables was about a man who went on a journey before he left for his trip the man left his money with his servants he wanted them to be responsible for it until he returned now mind me they're on this road trip and here he is giving the responsibilities to his servants to see how they're getting ready to manage the gold right Hmm. Oof. What do you say? What do you say? How do you manage this gold? Someone give you. Imagine you never had gold in your life. You never had money your parents given you. Right. But all of a sudden, here we are of a man who gives gold to some servants and he's getting ready to see how responsible they're going to be with it. Right, them. right. Which is crazy because I've never really heard of people giving someone their prized possession, which some people consider money, mm -hmm. their personal belonging to somebody to hold. Yep. Wow. Because we always, God always, I believe, this is, and this is what I'm saying, God always tests us. He does. With what he gives us. Now listen to the word test. That means you're going through a period of time being examined by God on what he's giving you in that moment. Right. So right. everything can be a test, Miss Nastasi. It can, it can. I know, and um, you know, some of you have had a special chance mm -hmm. to make the most of what you've been given. Mm -hmm. But for those of you who, without a special ability, how do you feel crossing the space in a normal way? Mm -hmm. Some of us feel like we don't have a special ability to do anything like that. Mm -hmm. We feel like there's nothing special about us. We don't have gifts and talents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the reality is you do. You know, and that's what I love about why Jesus had to come. Right. Because he needed to show us and walk with us the importance of what God has given you is for you. Right. And as long as you can understand that, you'll see how, why God loves you so much. Right. And why he chose you to do the very thing that you're frustrated and anger about or have, or, or have emotional problems with because you're trying to understand the better you. And it's okay to go through that, but just don't stay there. Because right. Jesus shows us that at a time, even when Judas betrayed him, Ooh. when Peter denied him, wow. right? When all the other disciples went into the, their shelter after he died and he told them that this would happen, that he on the third day that he would get up, right? But they were still stuck on the fact of Jesus not being around when they forgot what Jesus told them. And then, you know, there was some uncertainty um, that happened when, you know, we didn't get a chance to go down further into the story, but someone actually hid a bag hmm. that was given. But, you hmm. know, I love 
because I've never heard a Bible story told like this before. Yeah. But when the servants were given the bags of gold in our Bible story, they were actually given the responsibility. Mm. The master expected them to do something with what they'd been given to yeah. them. He was very disappointed in the servant who just hid the bag of gold in the ground. And it, it just tells you, there's, you're Ooh. always going to have yes. a situation where you're tested on what you've been given with. Right, because the question now for you is, what would you do if a parent or a teacher <laughs> suddenly gave you $100? Ooh, $100? Yeah, what about 1000 Hold on, because this is 50 cents, Miss Nastasi. You know what I could do with this? I could buy some little Debbies, popcorn, pickles. Well, I think it's a little bit more money than that. But you know, I mean, sometimes I see them in the store for 37 cents. Anyways, but yeah, keep going. Right, so if they gave you $100, what would some of y'all do? None of you yeah. said you just hide it under your bed hmm. the rest of your lives? Mm. Wow. What if you won a super fast gaming computer in a contest? Mm. What if you won three of them? What would you do? What, I know, what is, what is the game, the video game that they play? You talking about Fortnite? What if you won three Fortnite competitions mm. and they gave you the fifty thousand dollars? Fifty thousand dollars? You wouldn't just keep it in the box, uh, the box under the basement forever, would you? Because that's what's happened. They mm. kept it in the ground forever. W would you just keep that money under a box, under your bed forever? And lying is not good. Right. None of that is likely to happen. But God has given all of us so much in our lives, Mr. Yeah. Ramsey. Stuff we own, talents and skills, and even time itself. Mm. And even time itself. He gave us time. Mm. The gifts you may not be exactly the things you dreamt of. You might not have what you want. Mm -hmm. Just like these, just like these coins, we're not exactly the perfect props to tell a Bible story, but God wants you to make the most out of what you've been given. Make the most out of what you've been given. That's your time. Remember, your relationships, your responsibilities, who you are, and most importantly, with Him. And how you, don't forget, how you manage your time today will definitely show us or show someone how you've been managing your time for tomorrow. You got to prepare. You got to plan. As children, it's okay to, to not know everything. But sitting down to ask a question and figuring these things out, it's important because any little secret can cause you to mismanage your responsibility God has given you. Right, and I know some of you may feel like, oh, my friend can draw, I can't draw, my friend can sing, I can't sing, mm. my friend can do this, my Comparing. friend can do that. Comparing. Mm. Find out what God gave you. And if you don't know what gifts and talents he gave you for his glory, ask him. And he'll tell you exactly, because why would he create you and not talk to you? Right. Hello? Anybody home? Hello, is Devin home? Hello. Why would he create you and not talk to you? Right. He wants to talk to you. He wants to hear that little voice that you have or that big voice that you have. God wants to participate with you right. in a relationship so he can show you what he's placed inside of you. And you, all you have to say is, repeat mm -hmm. after me. Say, Father God. Father God. I don't know who I am in you. I don't know who I am in you. But I want to know. But I want to know. Can you show me please, Father? Can you show me please, Father? And when you show me. And when you show me. Help me. Help me. To remember. To remember. To be grateful for what I have. To be grateful for what I have. Because it's all for your glory. Because it's all for your glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What an awesome word. Yes, yes. Didn't you enjoy that? Like that comment. Tell us, tell us what you've been struggling with and how can we pray for your struggles? Right. Because everybody struggles. Your parents, every person struggles. Right. And we cannot be blinded by that. And struggle means to have a hard time. Hard time. It's Thank a you. hard time doing something. Yes. Mm -hmm. So God loves you. You have a responsibility. Don't put, your, don't put your excuses on other people. Right. Trust what, trust what God has placed in you. And that's important. And remember, follow God. Love people. And change the city. Love you guys. We love you.